He started in a shop in his garage with $250 and a, a few scraps of silver and copper. And today, James Avery Craftsman has over 1,100 designers, craftsmen, management, support personnel. Amazing. Welcome. To, uh, we're going to welcome him to the Neon Fish here in just a minute. Yeah. Um, there was a story that uh, that you and I were talking about. Right. Uh, I, and this is for callers. I want you to give some thought to this. So much of the time, um, those of us who work in ministry um, end up affecting other people's lives. And, and we don't often get, it as, as Ken would call it, a crop report on that. And uh, one of the things that I wanted uh, Mr. Avery to know is that uh, my daughter, my little Chelsea, when she was seven, uh, got a ring, a James Avery ring, very simple silver ring with a little dropout cross in the center of it and we were out uh, swimming in the backyard and having fun and somehow or another she lost the ring Mm -hmm. and she panicked and was just she was unconsolable and so um getting another one didn't seem to be the idea for her she wanted to find the one that was lost and i didn't know how to go about doing that in a big yard full of grass so what we did was uh, we got on we got it with the yellow pages because this was pre-internet days and um we ended up trying to find uh, a metal detector guy, a guy who would rent us a metal detector. And we drove from H- West Houston to Clear Lake, rented a metal detector, and mm. came back looking for this ring. And we spent the afternoon with uh, with the metal detector. And we, we found a whole bunch of stuff, but we didn't find the ring. And it gave us an opportunity to talk about some things about what's important and when it's lost and, and what you can't do about that um, and what why it's valuable. And... Uh, we spent a lot of time talking about that. The ring is very important to her. And uh, I, I I, just think that he would like to know that. Yeah, I think he just heard that. Good. Let's bring him on. Yeah. James Avery, welcome to the Neon Fish. Well, thank you, Ken. It's a real pleasure to be uh, on your program today. Well, it's certainly a pleasure to have you on, sir. Um, Mr. Avery, uh, so much of your work uh, it, it has Christian symbols as, as the base uh, of your artwork, uh, why Why is that, sir? Well, Ken, uh, I was uh, raised in the church, and then I moved away from the church uh, during my teenage years and uh, and uh, uh, for about 12 years uh, or more, I was an agnostic. And uh, I had a trouble at the time uh, while I was teaching at the University of Colorado, and I found my way back uh, to the church with uh, some help help, believe mm-hmm. me, uh, and, and prayers and, uh, and guidance. Right. And uh, so uh, that, that changed my life, really. And I made a cross for myself, and uh, some others uh, saw the, the string around my neck, and my cross was under my shirt, of course. And uh, they asked me to see it, and I showed it to them. And, and a couple of guys said, uh, could you make uh, me one like that? And I did, and... Uh, presented it to them, and they wanted to pay me, and I said, no, this is my gift, and uh, mm-hmm. they uh, uh, almost cried, and I thought, gee, uh, Jim Avery, uh, what have you done now? Maybe you've, maybe, you, uh, maybe you've touched some lives, and maybe uh, this is a way to go. Mm. Well, the Neon Fish, sir, is about um, Christian artists, and, and really calling all Christian, all, all, everyone to, that is our listeners, we're, we're calling us all to excellence, and well, the part of the theme of the show is that if you're uh, that everyone has a gift, just like you discovered your gift uh, there that day, and, and out of your faith came this uh, came this incredible gift, and you, you discovered uh, uh, the, your ability to do art with the Christian symbols so much. Uh, what uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, where you went from there? Where did you go from that that first beginning? Well, uh, when. Uh I was te- I had been teaching for uh, for a number of years mm-hmm. uh, at the University of Iowa and the University of uh, Colorado and in design, and uh, when I came uh, back into the church, uh, uh, I th- thought about this, uh, uh, simplifying my life, and uh, and I uh, married a, a gal while I was at the University of Colorado, or uh, she was at the University of Colorado, and a year and a half later we were married, and she lived in Kerrville. And uh, so, uh, 1954, we came to Kerrville, and uh, and uh, that's when I started. Mm. And you're, and you're calling, we're talking to you today from Kerrville, as a matter of fact. Well, it's outside. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, uh, Jim, you've had uh, 
all through the years, you've been able to maintain a quality that's just uh, that's just almost uh, incomparable. And uh, how have you been able to maintain that level of quality and create creativity over the years? Well, Ken, I, you know, I think <clears throat> everything we do, uh, you know, uh, I expect uh, everything I uh, I do, I try to do it to my very best uh, 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 best of my ability. And I expect uh, excellence for everyone that works for us. And, and we provide a very uh, uh, nice w- workplace for everybody, clean, well-lighted, comfortable, and giving consideration to all details. And so uh, our employees uh, uh, do the same thing. They take care of, uh, of the details of, our, of, uh, of the product that they're, they, uh, they help us make, and, uh, and uh, they take care of... Uh, uh, treating others uh, very well, you know, all the details, service, uh, uh, the details of service are important, and uh, so um, I, I think that's that's the thing. Uh, we just ex- expect yeah. everything we do to right. be to be right. Yeah. Well, it certainly has proven out. Uh, what's what's been your most popular design over the years? Well, I think uh, I heard you, I heard uh, you talking about Chelsea's ring. Right. And uh, that that little ring is is been the most popular item uh, I ever made, and and still is the most our most popular item. We call it a cross up ring, but it's a little simple ring with a, a Latin cross cut through it. And uh, we've made uh, very many of them, and over the years, and uh, and stories like that. One I just heard about Chelsea's losing hers. I've heard from others losing it on the beach, and. Uh, in uh, Hawaii and finding it later, and somebody else found it. If you could tell us what the setting is we need to put on the metal detector, it would be very helpful. <laughs> well, I've never had that experience. So, but, uh, <laughs> because I found an awful lot of quarters trying to find that ring. <laughs> uh, Jim, uh, uh, what uh, what's happening at Christmas uh, at uh, around the country? Around, well, actually, in Texas and Oklahoma and Georgia, at uh, James Avery Craftsman. What, well, what's new for Christmas? Well, Ken, uh, we did some we did something this year that I'm not so sure uh, we're, we're not going to do again. We we put <laughs> <laughs> we we we, uh, we put out a catalog with a lot of expensive pieces in it, mm-hmm. and uh, and not, not enough uh, uh, moderately priced pieces in silver. And uh, so, uh, and our our uh, customers are telling us that we need to go back and maybe put some uh, some uh, things that are not so expensive. And uh, we're going to do that. We're going to put it. We're coming out with a new uh, 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 religious catalog with um, some new crosses in that I'm working on myself. Hmm. And uh, we're coming out with a new charm catalog because there weren't enough charms in this catalog and Christmas and and uh, we have some new pieces in there but uh, a lot of them are, are expensive. We have a we have some new silver pieces too, but I think we went a little heavy on the gold because some of our customers were asking for more expensive pieces for Christmas and I think we went overboard on that. What uh, as you look back at a at a lifetime. Gem of, of creating quality and uh, in art in metals, what what pleases you most as you look back over the years? What what? Uh... Well, just that, just uh, like I was telling you about the, those uh, two boys out there in Colorado. I mean, you know, when I see that I I've touched some people, I don't know what that static is. <laughs> to see where I've touched some people's lives, and uh, I've, I've uh, helped uh, them finding finding some meaning and purpose, maybe. Uh, uh, that, that that's great. I mean, yeah, you know, you I didn't have. start out. I didn't start out years ago to to build a big company. I started out to make some things that I thought might be meaningful to others, and they were important to me, and I, I and meaningful for me, and I thought they might uh, be important and meaningful to others. And I never expected to, the company to grow to this size, uh, or had any dreams of that. Uh, we've just been very blessed and. Uh, yeah. And Salt are very blessed uh, with, with our company. One of the philosophies, this is Steve, Mr. Avery, uh, yep. one of the philosophies that we have kind of tried to promote through the Neon Fish is the, is the notion of excellence. And because it takes, it takes a certain level of attitude along that line to be prepared for the kind of work that then lines up for you if you're aligned. And so we, we, certainly, we certainly think that uh, the James Avery Craftsman work is... 
Well, it's, it's certainly at that Thank standard. You. Thank well, you. Jim, what, if people want to, uh, besides going to your stores, uh, you have uh, they can we check have out bank online, bank. right, at right. Uh, www.jamesavery.com. Right. Com, right. right, right. Well, thank you so much for being a part of our show today. Well, have you, have you, you ever considered doing a, a new piece, piece called The Neon Fish? <laughs> <laughs> That's a that's a that's a wonderful name yeah. for sure. Well, it's, thank it's you. I can think of two buyers offhand. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> thank you so much. We've been visiting with uh, Mr. James Avery, uh, James Avery Craftsman. What a, what a pleasure to have that gentleman on our 